We have the Capra egg in the blue, the emu egg in the green, the um, Greydock is completed. Chicken egg in the coffee, and then the Greydock is completed, yeah. Hey everybody, Derek and Ryan here from Badgerland Birding, and happy Easter first of all. And today we asked a bunch of you for some cool bird eggs because we're going to be dyeing some Easter eggs to look like actual bird eggs. And so we took some of your suggestions, put them out here on the table, and we're going to use a combination of things. We have our regular dyes out and then we're also going to be doing some painting and we might have to come up with some other creative solutions to make these work. So. Um, one of the first ones that I think I want to do is the emu, and so we'll put uh, the emu egg up on the screen, but they're a really cool kind of tealish blue color, something that I didn't really expect. Um, so that's the first one that, I, that I'm going to do. Rai, if you want to like pick one at random, yeah, I don't maybe. Know what one this is. Alright, let's see what you got. Great the auk, great auk, the extinct, the extinct great, great auk. auk. All right. Do they um, even have pictures of what great auk eggs look like? They do, actually. It's uh, um. I can make that easy. Yeah, it's white with like some black speckles. Is it black or brown? We'll, we'll do the best that we can with what we have. I'm gonna make some white. I'm gonna take the white crayon. Does it have white on it? Oh, well, it's kind of speckled white. Yeah, I guess a little. So bit. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the white crayon. It kind and of actually looks a lot like this one. If then you put it in. It like does a actually, because it got some natural white spots. I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make some white spots though with the white crayon. We'll do that first. So. All right, I'm gonna get going on doing some painting for this great auk egg. So we're gonna get. I broke the crayon already. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna, kind of like... I'm gonna go green first. Oh. Check that out. It's looking streaky. It's looking pretty awky. I say gra you can grab another one. Grab another one? Yeah. Alright. Mm, let's see what we got here. Hopefully it's not another painted one. Ooh. Gray cat bird. Yeah, so I was really excited when I was researching this one because I didn't realize that they were this pretty, but um, gray catbird eggs actually look very similar to robin's That's eggs. It's just like a straight up bright blue. Yeah, so I was gonna do robin, but catbird's so similar, so. Yeah, it's pretty much a straight up, like, light blue. It's gotta be one of these dyes, right? I think it's probably, like, this one. I mean, it looks, you see, it's not, it doesn't really, it's like, we did a, put an egg in each color already, just to have it. None of them. And it doesn't really match. Blue. Maybe, like, the green is actually closest. Yeah. So I picked one a little earlier, and I got chicken, which I wasn't super excited about. Um, someone said red jungle fowl, which is, like, the wild chicken, so, you know. But uh, some people don't know that chickens actually have different colored eggs. So um, here you can see that we have some like browner chicken eggs. So instead of just, I could just leave it. So like, oh, it's a chicken egg, and we could just, you know, put it on. You're there gonna go it. for it. I'm gonna try to make it one of these other chicken eggs. So I'm gonna do it a little brown. And for the brown, I have kind of a secret thing, secret dye. We're gonna use some coffee. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get it a nice brown color. So hopefully it doesn't melt the plastic or anything. We got our coffee. Oop. Did it do anything? All right, we'll see. <laughs> but the great auk egg is looking pretty good. Yeah. I mean, didn't you just describe it as someone looks like they badly painted it? It does. It looks yeah. like someone painted it badly, like as if it was a little kid that painted it. So. Same so thing. it fits. Same thing. Music. Calling it done? Calling it done. Great off. Bam! There it is. So we have the Capra egg in the blue, the emu egg in the green, the um, great auk is completed. chicken egg in the coffee, and then the great auk is completed, yeah. So it's your turn to pick another one. I think we should each pick one at the same time. Alright. I can't tell what this one is, so. Um, let's see. American crow egg. All right, I got red winged blackbird. So let's start off with crow here. Let's take a peek. Bluish, grayish with brown spots. Mm. I can do that. You gonna paint or you gonna? You gotta do both. It seems. So red wing is kind of this lightish blue with some speckling. 
Well, not really speckling, just kind of like black <laughs> spots. <laughs> just kind of on the edge. It's mostly blue though. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's I'm, really good. I like that. Good job. Ah. You did it. Now you just have to so add I'm your gonna, spots. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope this doesn't take all the color off. Actually, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna dry it off and then try to just sharpie on kind of the dot. I'm gonna make it like after this one with the little black dot. Here's mm. my crow egg. It's getting there. Might move that one over to the other stuff as well. All right, we're gonna start seeing if this works. We're gonna add our, oh yeah, black dot on there. Whoppa! Is that what it looks like? Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. The yellow lighting in here doesn't help, but... Mm, trying to blame the lighting. I think that's good. I'm putting that in the done pile. Okay, we'll give it, put the sign on it. The sign has been delivered. Let's take a peek at my chicken egg here. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit. That's oh, the okay. emu. Oh. It's mm -hmm. getting there. I want it really dark though. I, I want it dark while. like that one. This one is looking good for the cat bird egg. That does look really good actually. I think I might call that now, to be honest. Okay. I'm putting that as done. It's still got a little bit dry to do it. I think it looks really good. We'll put it right next to the great auk. Hoppa! Boom. Great cat bird. This is going to be tough. Yeah, how are you going to do this? I have just kind of like a bunch of different speckling. That seems to be the move. Ah, it does look <laughs> pretty good. So yeah, we give it one more dip. Oh, wow. Yep. There it is. Look at that. Let's chew some more. Um, I'll take this one because it's the least amount of reach. Am I going to be happy or sad about this one? I think it'll be interesting. You'll have a couple different options. Nightingale? I don't even... Know yeah, that so it's this little brown one. Oh, really? So it's just a real dark brown color. I don't know if it's possible to get Could you make dark. a brown dye? The Arctic turn. Ha, ah, your turn. Um, so someone said, I think it was Caspian turn, but I couldn't find a picture of Caspian turn eggs that like we were free to use based on the license. So I found an arctic tern egg that looked similar, so we're going with arctic tern. And I think it's another one that's pretty speckly. You're gonna I have to paint something. I might. Still Here's the arctic tern. Ooh, oh. it's like brown with more brown. Yeah, that's a tough ask. That might be like a coffee egg. And then brown It looks paint. like, it doesn't even look like an egg, it looks like a slug or something. <laughs> well, I can take the last one. Okay. And it is killdeer. It's kind of the classic speckled egg. Yeah, look at that. That's like blacks and browns. I'm yeah. kind of like a lightish green, whitish almost. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the chicken out of the coffee and I'm gonna put it in the orange for a little bit. <laughs> Kildare eggs are very splotchy. Yeah, I don't. I just don't. I don't see this getting any darker. I feel like that's pretty close. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call that. It's it's warm because <laughs> of the coffee. As for me, I'm gonna try to make brown. Bam! There's our chicken egg. That looks brown. I think um, your crow is probably good to go in the finish pile there. He looks great. You got the little slip. Bam! American crow. That's a good looking egg. I will do that once I'm done with all the brown. The start of the killdeer egg, we're just going to add a little bit more of the green to it, and then we should have it. And it looks pretty good. Real quick, like, okay. Just a real fast dunk. Get it in there, okay. It worked out shockingly well. And then... Voila. Killdeer done? Killdeer done? Killdeer. Nice. The combo. It's in the coffee. The coffee didn't really do much because I didn't leave it in there. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the red and then I'm going to put it in the green. Ooh. This is not <laughs> turning brown at all. Yeah, I put mine in here. 
Yeah, it still looks purple, so uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. You would think that all these colors combined could make brown, but they don't seem like they want to. Honestly, I think I might just take this one we did earlier for Emu. Okay. Because... Sounds good. We made it. <laughs> it was just sitting in there longer, I guess. So I'm calling that. There's our Emu. It's got some nice speckles. Bam! I think I emu. made that one. So technically, you kind of did, yeah. I've done like six and you've done like three. I'm working on it. <laughs> So have you had enough? Of the dye, yeah. It turned out really pink. So I'm resorting to paint and I'm trying to mix the light brown together. I <laughs> might need a couple coats here. Alright, here is my best effort of dyeing an egg brown. We came out to this kind of like purple. And on camera it actually looks really nice. Really? <laughs> yeah, it in real brown. life it looks a little pur more purpley. I think that we just call it. I'll put it right in here. <laughs> you don't want it to be seen. <laughs> I'm hiding it. Here, we'll, uh, there it is. <laughs> Nightingale. Alright, this is mine. It's, um, the paint is not wanting to dry. It still looks pretty pink, but we're gonna keep trying. I think that I saw that one and was like, I, I can't let mine become that. <laughs> And that was the only option left, essentially. How's it look? Looks good. It's a pretty dark. I probably wanted it like actually a little lighter brown, but uh -huh. see, but like look at this section. Like I try to paint it, and it, it just doesn't, doesn't go. So I mix the black and the dark brown together, and we're just gonna, we're gonna kind of just make some. Bring it. That actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna call that one, because it's been a pain. There we go. So let us know which one's your favorite. Which one's your favorite? I like the Great Auk. I actually like the Crow a lot. Yeah. I think you doubted me on the Crow. Yeah. Yeah. So would you, what would you recommend? Would you recommend <laughs> people try this? Yeah, if they're hardcore bird lovers. But if you're just the casual bird lover, I mean, try for a robin's egg, see how that goes. <laughs> Start small yeah. and work your way up from there. You can be the Bob Ross painting bird eggs where you're like, Bob Ross likes big trees. You can be like, I like big speckle. <laughs> I like a big speckle on my egg, I'm gonna put it right here. Every speckle needs a friend. It's actually a really good color. You did, yeah. you did great, little guy. <laughs> Put a lot of effort into it. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> it's your world. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> and I also want to give a shout out to the people that recommend it as well. Adair Bach had the great Ox suggestion. Um, Hannah Robb had a bunch of suggestions. Yvonne Sebastian, Frank Westfell, Stephen Shepard, Barbara Cole had Emu, and Malcolm Kurtz uh, all gave us suggestions on our YouTube. And so we thank you guys for giving us suggestions. And then I had one from Cecil Halford on Twitter who said chicken. And we'll be addressing that later. <laughs> okay.